right, guys, I've got a little special video here tonight. Uh, first look, uh, if you have any sort of interest, I've been playing the, uh, I've done a couple unboxings and I, I got to reveal a few cards from the Megatron vs. Bumblebee set uh, for the Transformers trading card game. And tonight we have, or today, depending on when you're watching this, it's tonight while I'm shooting it, um, we have a look at a new card from the third wave of uh, series, uh, the Siege uh, set, and it is this guy, Weaponizer Cog. Wait, not, not, wait, not him. It is Sergeant Cog here for the Transformers trading card game. Uh, this is just a printout. Uh, they sent me the images, and I'll put the high-res image at the end of the video as well as share it around on Twitter so people can get access to the full high-res images. But um, it's Sergeant Cog, and he will be a, a, what they're calling large character cards, like a full-size, standard-size character card. He's not one of the smaller Battlemaster cards. This one, I think, is somewhere in between those two sizes. Like I said, I just printed it out and made it on cardstock. But yeah, it's Sergeant Cog. He is artillery and mechanic, according to his text. Uh, he's a weaponizer and ranged are his keywords here. And you can see he's, he's going to do some damage. He's got four attack here, which uh, can definitely put a hurting on some bots. He's got 12 health, so he's probably going to hang around for a while. Only one defense, but uh, if you put, depending on how you build your deck, that could, you could boost that up a little bit. So he's going to take some hits, but he's going to give out uh, just as well as he takes. Um, he's 10 stars, and while he will be a large character card, if you look, um, he actually has the weaponizer uh, keyword, which begins in bot mode and can't flip. When it's KO'd, you play its upgrade side, which means it's going to function like some of the new small Battlemaster cards, but he will, he'll be a full-size character. Now, what that means is when he is KO'd, like he's already doing 4 damage, 12 health, uh, 1 defense. When he is KO'd, you just do a, you take the card, you do a quick flip, and he comes back as Heavy Force Defense Breaker Cannon which you can attach to a character. You upgrade him as a weapon, so as soon as he's KO'd, you play this side. So now he's adding plus four to a character you have already. So on top of not being KO'd at the end of his, uh, completely going off the battlefield when he's KO'd, now you can upgrade one of your other characters on the field. Uh, and they just showed off Trailbreaker, who already was pretty decently and had a very deep health as well. So you could have even more longevity with a tougher character who is now doing plus four to their base attack, plus anything you flip over the course of the game. Also, when you put this on a character, when you play him as an upgrade, you then get to draw a card for every character you still have on the battlefield, and then can play an upgrade onto each of those characters. So, that means, like, one, maybe you've got four characters out. He gets KO'd, so now you've got three left. Maybe you already had two upgrades in your hand, but haven't been able to get them all out. Now all your characters are upgraded, so not only are you getting the plus four to whatever character you play this on, you have the ability to upgrade all your other characters and possibly deal even more damage uh, with your team, which is very cool. It says if you leave the battlefield, put it in your KO area instead, and that's mostly because he's KO'd. You can't put it, unlike a battle card, which would get reshuffled uh, when you run out of battle cards, like he's out of the game, he's KO'd. But um, that's a very uh, effective use of the card from based on like the few games I've played that's gonna that could be a game changer uh at the end especially if you get all get sudden get to upgrade other characters on the field provided you still have some left now he is a 10 cost card so you're probably not going to have too many other characters on the field with him or they might be a little soft but they're going to do some damage before they go if, if they're paired up with Sergeant Cog now that seems pretty powerful and it is which is why uh you'll see on the card that he is a super rare transformer. So he's going to be, he's not going to be the easiest one to get, but if you have him in your deck, it looks like he's going to be a pretty powerful addition. So I want to thank the guys over at the Transformers Trading Card Game for giving me the opportunity to reveal this card. Um, it looks super exciting. Like I said, I'll put the high res image here at the end of the video, as well as um, I'll post it on my Twitter if you follow me over there, and, and it, it'll make the round so you can see the full character art. This is a little faded because, like I said, I just used an office printer and some card stock to kind of mock up my copy of the card here for my video because I don't have all the fancy video editing mumbo-jumbo to put together some of those really neat in-depth analysis like Wasi Plays uh, does with um, 
with these cards, but I, I, I found a way to have some fun with it. I liked, I liked doing the reveal of Sideswipe wearing the, uh, the Heavy Force Defense Breaker Cannon as it's displayed on the card. Maybe not quite the same pose because of, you know, toy, but... Yeah, so a really neat card. I think are going to be a really effective addition to your team. A um, little hard to find. He is a super rare, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of the set brings. So again, thanks to the guys over at Transformers TCG. If you haven't checked it out, it's different from a lot of the standard uh, deck building card games, and it's a lot of fun. It plays quick. It's easy. The rules aren't super deep, uh, and generally anything is going to be clarified by the text on the card itself. So it's a lot of fun. I do highly recommend checking it out. I've been having some good time when I good times when I've played some games with it. So there it is. There is Sergeant Cog, a new super rare transformer from the wave three of the Transformers trading card game.